You're watching sports with Andrew Ward. Now it's freezing outside, so grab your cocoa and warm up to some high school hoops action here tonight. We start with Sean Taylor seeking career win number five hundo tonight. And one of the biggest storylines for Wisconsin and really the Big Ten has been the emergence of the Rock Ridge grad Ethan Happ as one of the best players, not just in the conference, but in the entire nation. Well, it all started today. The road to the state wrestling tournament in Illinois and Iowa kicked off with regional and sectional meets Saturday afternoon. Yeah, Gary, welcome from Carver Hawkeye Arena on the concourse here at Carver Hawkeye Arena. That is, you can see behind me, fans starting to file in here. Iowa, Iowa State, they're getting ramped up. The last time Iowa State played Oklahoma, the Cyclones won an absolute thriller in Norman in double overtime. Final seconds of the game, tied at 70. Orange, could he do it again? Yes. Two straight game winners. All week we brought you all kinds of action from holiday basketball tournaments. Tonight, many of those tournaments came to a close. So buckle in for Championship Friday. We start in normal. The Rock Island girls battling Morton in the State Farm Classic title game. Well, Laura, one more match to prove who is the best volleyball team in the country. Nebraska and Texas have all kinds of history going back to their days in the Big 8 and the Big 12. Tonight, they both had a shot for the volleyball national title from the CenturyLink Center. What a scene in Omaha for the biggest match of the year. Platteview has been one of the best teams in Class B all season long, entering the state tournament undefeated. Waverly, they've already lost to them twice, but both games have been pretty close. Vikings get their third shot at the Trojans. Well, Vanessa, the event starts in about 10 minutes here. 530 official start. Some fans starting to trickle in here. A couple players as well. Brett, my heart is still pounding pretty fast. What a basketball game between 8th seed in Lincoln East and 4th seed in Millard South. I'm going to stop talking about it and start telling you about it. Let's bring you those highlights. The Kansas City Royals received their World Series championship rings today. Now that's a special moment on its own. But Nebraska native Alex Gordon was the last person to walk out of the dugout and receive his ring, something his teammates wanted to have happen to show what he means to this franchise. It's something Gordon appreciated greatly. It's been just three weeks since that long trip back from Penn State, but today Iowa capped off a three-game win streak to end the season with an absolute dominant performance against 16th-ranked Nebraska. All right, we don't know if Tommy paid up last night, but we do know that we're back here. <laughs> Welcome back to our On the Inside Spring Game special. The defense got the win in dramatic fashion yesterday, but there was some news that came out that could hurt the defense in the long run. This streamer is all that's left of what was an absolute party here at the Bob Devaney Sports Center as Nebraska puts a bow on its fourth national championship season in school history. Just two days ago, this sideline was an absolute party after Nebraska's win against undefeated Michigan State. Uh, a lot of talk about allegations on this surrounding this program. Uh, do you address that with your team or do you just kind of move forward? From ages eight on up, a wide variety of people come to Southside Boxing. They even let me take a couple swings at it. Well, we're here. The NCAA Final Four. Destination Omaha has been the talk of the Nebraska volleyball team since the start of the season. And now that they're finally here, the team says it hasn't quite sunk in yet. At 12, Justice Edel getting scrappy, getting the turnover and getting it to Bree Beal. Here come the Maroons. Drew Wimmers with the little kiss off the glass. 